What's good YouTube and everybody? Sneak community, it's your boy Lee Kicks hitting you guys up with a new shoe review. This is a new pickup. I know I've been out the game for a little while. Just been busy. I'm on a silent hustle right now. I will let you guys know what's going on with me closer to when things start get, start to happen. But uh, other than that, man, I've just been working, been busy, um, trying to, to get my fitness thing going. Uh, so i just been all over the place. I haven't caught much sneakers. Uh, but this particular pair was a pair that I wanted. Um, it was definitely a pair on the list, so I had to snag them up. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the review. As you guys can see, it's a LeBron pickup. Max LeBron 11 low, size 9.5. These retail for 170 And here are the kicks right here. Now to me, hands down, this is probably one of the best LeBron 11s to release. Some of you guys may disagree, but when pictures dropped of this shoe, especially with the gum bottom on a black and gum bottom, it, it was no questions asked I was getting the shoe. Um, I actually tried to get them online. I struck out online on Nike.com. Uh, kind of freaked me out because I was like, man, I didn't think this shoe was limited. And plus with all the chaos of everybody trying to cop the, the, the champ, not really the champ pack, but the shoes that were supposed to be the champ pack, um, I figured these would be real easy to get on Nike.com, but I struck out. But managed to get them at a, at a local mall. Um, and I was just happy, you know what I'm saying? 170 for this shoe to me is a little steep. The LeBrons are priced a little high, man. They are really up there. Um, but I knew I really wanted this shoe, so it was something that I was okay paying 170 for. Um, but I will have to say, in my opinion, and I know a lot of the homies agree with me, this is probably one of the top five LeBrons to release out of all the 11s. And probably this is going to be in my top five definitely of shoes of, that I picked up this year. Um, so I'm just going to hit a couple uh, key points of the shoe, things I really like. There's nothing really uh, different about the actual shoe besides just the colorway and how they went with the gum bottle. So let's check out a few things I like about the shoe. Now when I say this outsole is nasty, that's what I mean. As you guys see, they went with a gum bottle with this shoe, which is very dope, man. You know, these days you don't really see gum bottles on a lot of sneakers. Um, you see a lot of icy soles or solid color soles, but they went with the gum bottle in the shoe And I really like the gum bottle man. It, it really made the shoe to me uh, Some of you guys may disagree some of you get some of you guys may agree But as you guys see from the side how it looks that gum bottom just totally tops the shoe off um, You couldn't really ask for a better combination. So this is one of the probably the major Part of the shoe that I like a lot is this outsole is a gum bottom other than the gum bottom, the shoe is just all black. And as you guys see the midsole right there with the air unit. But I just wanted to give you guys a closer look with the gum bottom and the black combination. Just very hot combination. Alright, coming to the hill, as you guys see, you have this gloss black, like hard plastic material that wraps around like the back part of the shoe. Uh, I'm not going to lie, when I seen pictures of this shoe, I actually thought this was like almost like a diamond cut look to it. That's how glossy it was um, in the picture. Maybe that person just had a great camera, but uh, I really thought it was like a diamond cut look to give it like a chisel look. But uh, I guess it's just so glossy, that's how it looks. Uh, one thing I did have problems with is when these shoes came, they had like a plastic film over this, I guess to help uh, keep it from getting scratched. But some of the stuff stuck to the shoe, so as you guys see, it may look a little foggy. Um, I just got to get some Windex or something to get that off, but that was one thing that I didn't really like. I don't understand why would they stick something on the shoe if it's going to leave residue. But uh, other than that, man, everything's good to go. The switches on both toe box has like this animal print on the shoe. It's like in a gray and a black, like a smoke gray, which I thought was very hot as well. So that was another great touch that they put onto the shoe instead of just making it a straight black swoosh. And your inner swoosh is a gloss black. Another clean feature of this shoe is that they put a gloss, a high, gloss, a high black gloss LeBron logo on the tongues of the shoe. Other than that, the whole entire tongue is black itself. Another feature that I really, really like about the shoe is that they did a tie-dye sock liner and they did tie-dye like behind the um, tongue of the shoe. The actual insole, insole itself is just black. Black insole right here. And you just have LeBron. But other than that, man, that tie-dye sock liner is nasty on this shoe. Um, I don't understand the purpose of it. I don't know the purpose. So if anybody knows, let me know. But I think it's a very, very hot feature of the shoe. Alright everyone, that wraps up the shoe review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. For those that's on the fence about getting these, hopefully this video helps you guys out. I know a lot of people was really feeling these shoes. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're still sitting on shelves everywhere. 
Uh, just don't sleep on them. I think it's going to be a shoe that slept on and back. And in a few months from now, a lot of people are going to wish they copped them. Uh, other than that, thank you for the love and support as always. I know I haven't been active on my YouTube channel. I haven't really been picking up much. I have a couple more reviews to do. Uh, I got a couple pairs of kicks in from Champs. And I have a pair that I want off Kicks for Pennies that I will be reviewing. But I know somebody asked me, will I be doing on feet of these? Um, I really don't do on, on, on feet videos. But when I do wear them, which will be soon, I will be taking some pictures and put them on my Instagram. So you can check me out on my Instagram at EliteKicks underscore. Other than that, rate, subscribe, comment. More videos on the way. Peace.